Hi everyone, Supersport here. Um, I've been trying and I've noticed other people have been trying to add cities to the HTC Sense weather database in Android. And so far I haven't seen an app for it. Um, I wish I knew how to write apps, but I don't. But what I was able to do is I found a thread that showed where the database resides on Android. And I did some research and found out how to edit that database. Um, I have to admit, I'm really new to this. It's not something I do, so I may have done it you know, a long way around, but this is what I knew. So I thought I'd post a video showing you how to do it. So let's get started. Um, first thing you're going to do is go to the thread here and go ahead and grab the file. If you go to the bottom of the thread here, it's the attachment right here. And inside this attachment is everything you need to do this. Um, I want you to know the database editor I grabbed from this, this uh, page here. I just want to make sure that he gets credit for this. It's not something I created. It is open source, so I'm assuming it's fine for it to be here. Um, if anybody finds otherwise, please let me know, and I'll pull it down immediately. All right. And the video eventually will be sitting in here, but of course I'm recording it right now, so it's not there. So once you download that file, um, I saved it to the desktop. Go ahead and extract it. And you'll see you've got these three new new items here, two folders and a file. Now what the file is, this is the default database that comes with the uh, CMY LXGO's 1.4 NAND build. That is my favorite build um, of Android for the HD2. Now whether or not this process works for other Android builds, I'm not really sure. I know it works on his, and I would assume it'll work for anybody else's that store the database in, in the same uh, folder. So let's go ahead and open up this folder here, SQLite Browser. We'll start the program. I'm going to maximize it. It's a little bit easier to run. Let's say open. And now we're going to grab the file that we want to modify. And that's in that other folder, Update Weather Cities. Now I'm not going to touch the original. The reason I'm not doing that is if something goes haywire, you'll still have this file to throw back on the phone if needed. Let's go back to this folder, and here's the file we want to modify. So I'm going to open it. Next, you want to go to Browse Data, and then Location List. And here you'll see all the cities in that database. I'm going to pull this open a little bit so you can see the city names. Now, I live in North America, in the United States, um, in California. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the very last page here. I just tapped right a bunch of times. And then I know California is sitting on the page just before this, so I'm going to go back a page. And I'm going to scroll down. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this. One, you can go in here and find a city in your time zone. And notice here, America, LA, that's the time zone I'm in. Um, find a city that you know for a fact you aren't going to use and change it. Or you can go ahead and add a new record. If you add a new record, it's going to go onto the end of the database here. Now, in my case, I'm just going to change a city I know I'll never use. So I'll delete that one I just did. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go back to that page with California and Los Angeles. Um, I know for a fact I won't ever need Inglewood. So I'm going to double tap or double click this right here. And then here I'm going to change Inglewood to my hometown, which happens to be Placerville. Make sure it's all caps. I spell the city exactly like it's spelled on um, like the different weather programs, the weather sites. Make sure you use the same formatting as is done here and all these other ones. Uh, once I've typed in the city I want, I'm going to hit Apply Changes. And I go here, and I change this one, double click. This is upper lowercase. I believe this can be any case you want. It's going to be whatever shows up on the HTC um, weather widget. So however you want it to look, I believe you can call it anything you want. I think you could call it home if you wanted to. Um, I'll go ahead and apply changes there. And because I've got the correct time zone and time zone ID, I don't have to change these. But if you were creating a new record, you'd want to be sure and use the correct time zone, time zone ID, and the rest of this information. Just change your city information. Okay, so now I've added my city. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. Now what we've done, we've opened up the browser, the SQLite browser editor. We've used it 
and open the database that's sitting inside this folder, the update weather cities folder. Um, here's the new updated file. And what you do now is you simply plug your phone um, onto USB. When it pops up and asks how do you want to connect, make sure you're connected as charge only. And let me get mine set up. I don't have my camera on my phone right now, so I apologize for that. But I am connected at charge only. And then you simply run this batch file right here, and that's going to push that file over to your phone and reboot it. Once it reboots, go to the HTC Weather uh, widget, click the plus sign, and search for your city, and it should bring up that city you just added. If it didn't, please let me know if there's any trouble, and I'll see if I can make some changes or do what I can. Good luck, and I hope it works for you all. Thank you. Bye.